When I called you, I was doing 140 miles an hour. That was six Lamburgers, four shish kebabs, a side order of couscous, and two milk. Welcome to the car, guys, and welcome to a special Q&A episode here in the Car Guys Secret Retro Cinema, because yes, that's right, it's our annual screening of the Cannonball Run. Yes! And we thought while we were here and we've got Mr. Jason in a captive audience, we thought what we would do would be go through some Q&A questions. So if that sounds like your special kind of black Countach action, let's get on with it. Remember our car? Yeah. Two seats? Two seats. Where's he gonna sit? Where? So here we are then, it's time for another Q&A session. We do them every six months or so. We ask for your questions on Instagram and YouTube, and boy, do you deliver. So we're gonna crack on right away and get through as many as we can. But first, the first thing that everyone has been asking is... No, we're not a couple. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> the second thing that everyone has been asking is, Jason, where have you been? What's happened? Well, I broke my ankle. Are you kidding me right now? Very nasty. Heard a massive snap as my foot twisted at right angles to my leg. You gotta be kidding me. So thank you all for your concern, but he's almost back to full capacity. Oh yeah. So first question this week, and of course it's quite topical. The question is, why didn't you consider a Lotus Emira for the garage? <gasps> Well, I think, I don't know about you, but personally, I never thought it would ever see the light of day. I think it would be like every other Lotus project. Ooh, um, awkward. I know there's lots, lots of money now. What, for you? I've got lots of two-seater sports cars, mainly Ferraris. It looks very much like a sort of Ferrari. Yeah, so it does look quite, a fake. I've already got like a 458 Italia, so why would you sort of need it? I never had much desire to buy an Evora. And I've also just bought an Elise Final Edition. That popped my Lotus Cherry. It's quite a pretty car. It's not the fastest thing in the world. It's okay, but it, it didn't set the world on fire. I think mean, that is the problem. Mm. Is it's just okay? Yeah. Sorry, Lotus. Sorry. Great to see Jason again. Um, but can he tell us about his latest purchase? <gasps> yeah, so I had a bit of a, a wallet accident. <laughs> And I might have accidentally bought a Series 3 E-Type Jaguar Coupe V12. V12? V12. Oh. The engine is just wonderful. Developed for the XK130 race car. Does it run? It runs. Oh, good. It runs. It's as smooth as silk. I mean, obviously, it burns through petrol at the rate of, I think, I'm getting about 8 miles to the gallon at the moment out mm -hmm. of it, which is... On super unleaded expensive, so I don't drive it very often. Second only to the Amoco Cadiz. <laughs> Exxon, I've been on the phone. Uh, they want some of their petrol back. So, yeah, I'm not doing a great job of the environmental side, but it is so sweet. Any thoughts on the current fuel crisis? Do you think prices are going to come down anytime soon? Good lord, no. No, never. No, now they've got us by the short and curlies as if you think those oil companies are gonna relinquish their grip and give us back some lower prices. It's outrageous profiteering, racketeering. It's disgusting what's going on at the moment. What's the highest price that you've paid for Super Unleaded so far? Uh, 199.9. Quite good, but I see your 199.9 and I raise you two pounds three pence. See, that is just ridiculous. Would you ever do the Gumball Rally? No. No. Thank you. No. Not really. I mean, it's, I mean, look at us. Do we no. look like the sort of person that would do something called a Gumball? Not a great plan. Have you decided that cash is king and in fact uh, there will be no F40 replacement? Well, glad you asked that question. There will be an F40 replacement, not something that you would necessarily expect but there will be one coming. Do you both prefer the looks of the 991 GT3 Touring or the 992 GT3 Touring? Jesus, we're getting into some real oh, nuanced, it's a bit geeky, aren't we? Bit geeky. Of a geeky question already. Um, 991. Yeah, I think for me... I don't like the nostrils in the two. Yeah, and the two just seems bigger. It's, it's got that... Yeah, it's a bit 
Got a and big old ass on it. It's a bit Kardashian. Yeah. At the back. So I think, yeah, the one, 991.2, I think is, is the sweet spot for mm. me. And I'm not saying that just because I own one. No, you are actually, but that's not the point. Thoughts on the new Mustang Mac one 2022? Interesting. Uh, friend of the car guys, James, has a Mustang Mac one Picked Ooh. it up in March. We will do a film on it very shortly wow. um, once it's running and you know so we can actually give it some beanage i didn't even know there was a mac one yeah Mustang. brand new when did this happen brand new mac Wait, announced last year i thought that was the gt500 what, no, what happened to that is that old news already? oh yeah no that's the us we don't get those ah this is a uk version oh. mac one it sounds amazing has the line lock has the big for, you know, push the button and the exhaust are basically straight throughs, has all of that nonsense going on. Wow. And we will have it on this channel in a matter of weeks. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know anything about this. Yeah. That is an exclusive to me, ladies mm. and gentlemen. What is today's ultimate four door super saloon? Oh. Well, obviously, Alfa Romeo, Julia, Quadrifoglio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a given. What else? Anything else you can think of? Jesus, there's not really much from out on, is there? What about no. the uh, Kia Stinger? Yes. That's, uh, that's a pretty awesome piece of kit. Very good. I mean, you don't see that many around. I think, you know, incredible value for money, mm. loads of performance. I'm told that the uh, BMW M5 CS... Yeah, but that's a hundred and something plus thousands, isn't it? I mean, that's a lot of money for a four-door saloon. People do talk quite highly about them, though, yeah. I have to say. I'm not sure I'd want to spend over a hundred grand on a four-door saloon, would you? I'd much rather spend £40,000 on an Alfa Romeo Quadrofomaggio. Exactly. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> Here's an interesting one. Fancy filming something in my MG Midget. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not against an MG Midget. Would we actually fit in an well, MG Midget? I just don't Midget? think that we would fit. A couple of big old, you know, lardy... Obviously, massively hulky, <laughs> really rimp, trim, ripped, yeah, yeah, crazy, amber, fifty-year-old. No, yeah. no, might no, be I tricky. I don't think we get in it. I think we, yeah, we definitely, we definitely want to go in it. But could whether, be fun. Whether could we could fun. do it simultaneously or not, <laughs> not so much. Are you interested in any new cars coming out at the moment? Now, my first thought when reading this question was no, no. However, what we'll do, I've got a list of some new cars which have been announced. So we're going to do the test right now and see if any are of interest. Okay, Here good. we go. Porsche GT4 RS. Yeah, not no, not really. I mean, I would sort of entertain it if it was possible to even vaguely get one, because, of course, well, you, Porsche's you allocation System. nonsense, no chance whatsoever. Mm, no. So do I want, what you're actually asking is, do I want to pay £100,000 over list for a GT4 RS? The answer is no. No. Lotus Electra. Electra? Yeah, that's that electric. Isn't it been out? Surely that's out already, isn't it? Oh, yeah. on a SUV thing yeah. that isn't actually a Lotus. It's just yeah. badged as a Lotus because it's Lotus Engineering. That one. Not, yeah, no, don't want that either. No, no thank you. Ferrari 296 GTS, the hard top movable version of the, the 296. Spider. Actually, I quite like the shape of the 296. I like the rear arches. I think they're quite nice. Am I excited by it? No, not really. No, it's definitely not coming to the garage. The Bizzarini 5300 GT. Yes. Yeah, that does sound pretty brutal, actually. I think it's going to be a... Pre-what, did you say? Brutal. <laughs> oh, definitely <okay>. said brutal. <laughs> <laughs> There's not going to be many made, so it's going to cost a fortune each one, but that would be quite a, a fine thing to mm. go for a drive in, I think. Yeah. Uh, the Toyota GR Corolla. It's not coming to the UK. Mm. It's literally US only. Well, I suppose in a way that's fair because obviously. No, it's not fair. Well, Why is they that didn't fair? get the GR Yaris. So? So it's kind of right, isn't it, that we don't get that? No. I don't begrudge them. I'm more annoyed about the fact that Japan gets the hot GR Yaris. Yeah, yeah we don't. Yeah. More annoyed yeah. about that. Yeah, what about the Toyota GR Supra? Uh, maybe. Mm, quite interested yeah. in that. Quite interested. You have to see what it's like. Mm. I have to, the, the Supra, though, it's been around a while, and I've never, I haven't thought, oh my God, I've got to get one of those. Aston Martin Vantage V12. This is the crazy uh, bonkers V12 version in the new Vantage platform. Lipstick on a pig? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I'm just saying. You know, 
these are my opinions. Obviously, you can have your own. <laughs> I mean, that's harsh. That's 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 quite that's quite a very. If you're if you're watching from Aston Martin, there won't be. But um, no, yeah, there won't sorry. be because you called their dashboard a ladies' part. <laughs> And they stopped talking to us. Uh, the Lamborghini Aventador LP780 slash for Ultime. No. No, no interest in that at no. all. Didn't want the first Aventador, don't yeah. want the last one either. It's a bit like the young ones, isn't it? Didn't want the first Lentor. <laughs> <laughs> so, in conclusion, not really. no, there's not many new cars that we're actually very interested in. I find new cars quite dull these days, don't you? They're all a bit much for muchness. Yeah, they all seem like they're trying to appeal to a committee. Uh, yeah, 100%. Now, this is a big one. Your favourite car from each of the last five decades. Each now, of the fi last five yeah, decades. Each. Yeah, so we're not talking about one car here. We're talking oh, about okay. five cars. All right. And it looks like they're lumping together the 2000s and the 2010s. All right, I'll have a crack at this then. So, 60s Lamborghini Miura. Yeah. 70s Lamborghini Countach. <laughs> 80s Ferrari 288 GTO, 90s Honda NSX, mm -hmm. and 2000s, 2010s Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta. Oh, very okay. good. That's, that's pretty good, actually. It's not a bad list. Okay, okay so we're going to go for DB5, 70s. Well, I've just bought it, so E Type Series 3 V12. Yeah. So 80s F40, 90s 2.8 injection Capri. Are you kidding me? Uh, 2000s Lamborghini Giardo Balboni. Available now from the Octane Collection. <laughs> <laughs> What's the annual car show that you simply cannot miss? For me, it's going to be the Bewley Auto Jumble. Can't oh, miss that. Yeah. Twice a year, technically, but if I have to go to one, it'll be the September one. So I'm going to be at the September one. Uh, because I, I now Because you need loads of bits. <laughs> I've got a load of classic cars that I need to find bits for. <laughs> so obviously I'm going to be at the Bewley one with a massive backpack uh, <laughs> just just hoovering up Jaguar parts. Have you got a distributor cap for the V12 <laughs> Jag? Goodwood is always uh, a thing. Not quite so much fun these days. Too many people around. Very, very expensive. Et which, good et which Goodwood one do you prefer? Well, I actually quite like... I went to Revival for the first time last year. Mm. I actually really liked Revival. It was really good. Really, really enjoyed that. That was brilliant. Big fan of the Drive Every Ferrari series. Thank you. But if you were going to do it for another type of car, what other car would you do a Drive Every series for? The only other car company I think that you could actually do it for and not literally spend the rest of your life doing it yeah. would probably be Lamborghini. Their model range is a yeah. similar sort of size. Well, you no, know? no, it's not. It's far less. Oh, it's far less. I mean, there's hardly any. If you look at how many Lamborghinis they've actually made over the entire yeah, thing, it, probably it's, about not, 12. it's not many. Yeah, it's not many. So you could easily do Lamborghini, but I don't you couldn't know. do Mercedes, could you? There's like fifty thousand of them, <laughs> but there's if you... twenty thousand Porsches. Yeah, Porsche I think would be pretty difficult. You could definitely do Lamborghini. That might be quite fun. How about Austin? <laughs> Austin. <laughs> yes, come on, drive every Austin. So we've got Austin no. Mini. No, not going for that. Aust Maxi Marina. Maxi. Austin <laughs> Princess. Yes! You see, it's this series is writing itself. There's Stand literally every other manufacturer, unless they're completely niche, have got way too many cars. And I think actually their drive every Ferrari is going to take much, much more than a year. Oh, yeah. Well, much more than a year. Probably a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Drive every Morgan? That wouldn't take long. No, there's like. Is there one? Drive every Lotus? You could do Drive Every Lotus if you if you buggers would watch it. Yeah, which you won't. Hi guys, great to see you both together. Thanks. Thanks. What do you think of the AMG Mercedes Project One? Isn't it now a track only car? I think it might be, yeah. Has anyone seen one moving I'm under its sure. own steam? I'm not sure about that. How yeah. long has it been in gestation now? Three years? Five. Five ten, years. Tw like Twenty that. years. Since the dawn of motoring. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm not excited by it at all. No. Famously, in a previous Q&A session a few years ago, we, I, said that I'd prefer to have one over a Valkyrie, and I think now I'd much rather have the Valkyrie, I'd have to say. Yeah, I, I'm not interested in either. It does nothing for me. Would you guys ever consider going on the Ferrari 
cavalcade. Now, good question. Whoa, whoa stop. Whoa, in uh, that back. What's, oh. what's the Ferrari cavalcade? Well, that's one of those, like, really amazing sort of Mille Miglia Italian tour things. Right. Where loads of amazing Ferraris get together. It's quite exclusive. Lovely hotels, fine wines, great driving roads, oh, police okay. police waving you through at all speeds. It's one of those sort of things. It's kind of like, it's one of those tributes to to Ferraris generally. Funny you should say that. I've had a lot of discussions with people about maybe doing the Mille Miglia, which of course Sam from Seen Through Glass is doing this year, and a few other people that I know uh, who've got Ferraris are also doing. So yeah, I probably would consider doing the Cavalcade. I think it would be probably a fantastic thing for the car guys to do, maybe we'll uh, we'll arrange that as part of Drive Every Ferrari. Oh yeah, that would uh, that would be a good cap to mm. that, wouldn't it? Mm. Very nice. How about that? Here's another question that often comes into the channel: uh, Do you regret selling the TDF? No, no, I'm completely at peace with that decision. Don't ask about the F40 though. Do you have a favourite Formula One driver from any era? Yeah, Nigel Mansell. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Mansell, really. Nigel Mansell was Nigel amazing. Mansell. Oh, that big moustache. He was a proper, he was a normal bloke, wasn't he? He was a normal bloke. Very, Flat very, cat. very normal. Yeah. I mean, beyond a will of a car, he wasn't normal. Clearly, he was an absolute god, but... I reckon for me, James Hunt. Mm. Always loved a bit of James Hunt. And also, Clay Rigazzoni. Oh. Big, big fan of him. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. You see? Not just the obvious Etten Senna Schumacher, eh? Mm. That's what you get with the car, guys. Age. <laughs> Have you considered doing a road trip right. to Norway? Norway? What, literally driving all the way to Norway through Estonia? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing that. Well, can we get on a ferry or something? Oh, uh, we could nip across Denmark to Sweden and then across to Norway. Yeah, I'd like, yeah I, didn't, I remember Sam seeing through glass video film that he did when he was up the Norwegian coast that just looked mm. amazing it would be wonderful to go and do something but the logistics are but I think it would be fun I think the roads are brilliant and you could take something and get a, quite a bit of Larry action going mm. on so yeah a good idea we will definitely look into it would you buy a Ferrari SUV no this is the uh, pure sangue no no would you not consider it no, I need something bigger than that. That's true. We don't really know how many seats it is yet, really. It's going to be four. It could be seven. Now, I've heard with the Pura Sangue that... What's it called again? Pura Sangue. Right, okay. It's Italian for thoroughbred. Oh, okay. So, you know, there is okay. kind of some sense. Yeah. I've heard that the first batch are going to be full-on petrol V12s. Nice. And they're going to be offered to Ferrari VIPs. And yep. then the ones after that are going to be hybrid -y, electric -y ones. Oh. So it could be that those first ones, there's gonna, not going to be many of them, and they're going to be proper V12. So they could be astounding. So far, I know nothing about it, and I need to be seduced. I need to be sort of bought on the concept, but uh, it's not really for me at the moment. Well, the concept's really easy. What it is, is uh, every car company in the world who wants to generate massive profits uh, produces an SUV. That's the concept. Oh, that's the concept. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And what do I get out of that? Uh, a big lumpen car that you want to show off down at Waitrose Car Park. Oh, hmm. Like like the uh, uh, Lamborghini Uranus. What are your plans for the channel? Well, I'm very much focused on uh, car restorations at the moment. We've got a couple of very, very cool projects just about to kick off, which I think that only five or six of you will find of any interest whatsoever, because <laughs> they're not Ferrari or Porsche. It's got 5,000 views, we're all over it. <laughs> yes. The continuation of the Drive Every Ferrari series. So we have had many cars pledged by many of you fine people. So we're working through those cars at the moment, whilst at the same time asking for others. I've got about 30 on the list still to go. So amongst those, some real big hitters, some of which we've definitely got our fingertips into and some of which we haven't. So if you've got a Ferrari, particularly a fantastic one, get in touch because we'd very much like to drive it. But I think we'll continue 
pushing through that and hopefully within the next year or so we'll have got through all the Ferraris and we can complete that challenge. Nice. So that was that. Our Q&A session is done. Uh, we're just about to get into the main topics of the evening which is the Cannonball Run screening. Chalk ice is at the ready. Oh amazing, can't wait. Cold beer on the side. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel please ding the notification bell when we have another film uploaded. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, the website, Twitter, all other social medias. Don't forget the merch either. Get those t-shirts. There'll be another episode of The Car Guys next week.